places like Sheridan. Typical small town USA, where Americana is controlled by two traffic lights, and where Cecil will give you the works, plus all the local news for just three and a quarter. In a small town, everyone watches the homecoming parade, and moms and dads skip work for the pep rally. When the year began, there was very little on the field for Sheridan to cheer about. The Yellow Jackets hadn't won in three seasons. That's 27 straight losses. So enter new head coach, Don Campbell. And we're trying to convince those kids that, hey, that you're not a loser unless you think you're a loser. And, I didn't, and, and I'm not a loser, and I didn't think those kids ought to think they were a loser. You get branded. They've been branded losers, but they weren't. They were winners. They just didn't know it. <laughs> Giving up would have been easy, almost expected. But in a small town, loyalty is a way of life. Mm, uh, well, nice they were on a little limb, but uh, they never did give up on well, we, We've always had good programs down here. But uh, it, was, it was discouraging after a 27 game, to be frank with you. So the streak is over, but always remembered on the back of Bucky Thompson, who survived the nightmare turned dream. Like past years, everybody would say, I'm going to make fun of us and everything. And when you didn't go to class, the people in your school would make fun of you. And not this year, I mean, you don't ever hear any of that. I mean, everybody just, when you go down the hall, you're recognized. When you go out anywhere, you're recognized. And everybody's so proud of me. Sheridan hasn't lost this season. 4-0-1. Some say that tie is like kissing your sister. But in a small town, that's okay, too. Dan Lath, 11 Action Sports and Sheridan.